and welcome back for the evening games of the Season 1 of the 2019 CPSL. The first game we have for you is the Leader Tigers taking on the Keton Hippos. Both these teams having very strong wins in the first weekend. Coming at two defeats at the hands of the Wolves. And getting back on top with wins earlier today. Joining me in the commentary box for the first half of this game is the Bulls, Zeke Wilson. Zeke, how are you? Not too bad, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Got a bit of an exciting game coming up. Yeah, against the Blues next or third. And what are your thoughts on this game? This will be a tight game. Yellows versus the Greens. Both very strong teams. Both have a few big shooters. Both teams lining up for the introductions coming up. And for the Hippos, number one from Hungary, Miklos Tima. Number two from Poland and the captain of the Hippos, Lukas Pilas. Number three from New Zealand, Cole Hawkins. Number five from Russia, Ivan Dibelier. Number seven from Chinese Taipei, Mark Huang. Number nine from Malaysia, Muhammad Adil bin Abu. And number ten from Argentina, Nico Fasse. And for the Leader Tigers, number one from Australia, Adam Hoffmeyer. Number two from Russia, Vladislav Skomorokov. Number three from Chinese Taipei, Wei Chen Sao. Number five from Belgium, Sander van Kaunbeheer. Number six from Namibia, Johan Peter Visser. Number seven and the captain of the Leader Tigers from New Zealand, Sam Hapeta. And number 11 from Germany, Tim Rieke. All right, both teams will be getting a little bit of a warm up in before this game is underway. Refereeing this game, we have Alan Winter from Wales and Evan Kong from Singapore. So some really strong players on both of these teams. We've got Ivan from Russia, number five for the Hippos. One of the strongest players of the tournament, scoring a lot of goals. On the other side, we also have Vladislav Skomorokov, number two for the Tigers. Highest goal scorer of the tournament so far with 11 goals. Adam Hoffmeyer, for the keeper for the Tigers. 27 saves so far this tournament. And their captain, Sammy, is leading the blocks as well with 15. So some very strong players on the Tigers. Some very fast players on the Hippos. Cole Hawkins he's just spent some time at the Belfast Academy in Northern Ireland with Zeke. He has spent the last six months there coaching the juniors, competing with Ulster. The junior team's doing very well at the minute. Really taking off good numbers. Took part in many competitions this year, including Lithuania, European club champs, and the big one, international, junior international competition. The new venue Hydro, which is a world-class polo venue, should be a spot to watch out for in the future. Yeah, so some exciting things coming out of Northern Ireland. So both of these teams are tied at the top of the table at the moment. 
Only a small amount of goal difference between the two as well, so both will be looking to assert their dominance over the other and take that first place for themselves. The Wolves are also tied on top with them, just a little bit behind on goal difference, but they do have a game coming up later, which they'll be looking to win themselves. Got a nice crowd in the in the venue today. Had a good good turnout for the afternoon and this evening we've got close to a thousand people in here. I believe we're reaching close to half a million views and streams throughout China and the rest of the world. So if you are watching on YouTube or Facebook. Please leave us a comment. We'd love to know where you're watching from, which countries. Both these teams just getting together for one final talk from their captains before getting this game underway. Two very strong teams. Should be a very interesting game. Zeke, do you have any predictions for me? I think green team will take it this time. Just the way Ivan has been shooting this competition, Paul has been shooting this competition. Yellow team also has a strong D. So it will be tight. Yeah, we think we're in for a very interesting game. Both teams lining up for the charge start. You see number seven from the Keton Hippos, Ma Huang from Chinese Taipei. Looks like he'll be taking the charge start once again. For the Tigers, it looks like number two, Vladislav Skorokov, is going to be taking the charge as well. So two very fast players. And away we go. Great work there from both players, but Mark Huang for the Keton Hippos has won that charge start. So excellent work to recover and then collect the ball. So Hippos starting in the attack. Lucas Pillars just going down the centre there. Over to the left to Debellier. Feeding it inside. And we have our first goal. Lovely shot there from number two, Lucas Pillars of Poland for the Hippos. So the Hippos, one goal up within the first 35 seconds of the game. Tigers will be looking to come back straight away to get one on the scoreboard. Adam Hoffmeyer, number one for the Tigers, just winning that foul there. Sending it over to the right to Van Kamba here. Back over the left to Vladislav. Shot is under the bar. It has caught a deflection though, so they will win that corner. Lose playing in there, but Tim UK number 11 has won the foul. Tiger still with the ball. Hoffmeyer and Van Kambi here just giving their teammates some time to set the screens. Lovely screen there from Sammy Hepeta. Excellent shot there from Sunder, but just deflected onto the crossbar. So the Hippos now have the ball. Looking for a fast break. Huang sends it down to Fasse. Nico's looking for a shot. Sends it over to Hawkins. 
He sends it back out again. They'll take their time. Just sending it to the left to Hawkins. Switches it to Fasse. He's going to try and look for that feeding pass. And takes the shot. There were only a few seconds left on the shot clock, so... Wise decision there, but... It is a goal line for the Tigers. Excellent interception there from Ivan de Bellier. Now sprinting down the field. He is going to take... He looks at for that long shot. Decides against it. He's going to wait for his teammates to come down with him. Nice pass across and excellent goal there. Lovely team play from the Hippos. It's the second goal to Lucas Pillar's number two. Great assist there from Ivan de Bellier just to feed him the ball. Get that one-on-one -on -one shot with the keeper. Tigers find themselves two goals down now. Somrakov feeds it inside. But Hepeta's shot is blocked. They will get the corner. Van Kambi here with the ball now. Sends it back out to Hoffmeyer. Kambi here with the ball now. And a loose ball there, which is picked up again by De Bellier. Some great interceptions from him so far this game. Does send Hawkins down there got some space gives it to Pillars He's now surrounded by a lot of Tigers but he does get that goal so three goals in the first four minutes to Lucas Pillars from Poland number two for the Hippos so great start from their team Hoffmeyer just looking for a foul there, but referees haven't seen anything. The Tigers just not quite settling into this game just yet. Hoffmeyer over to the left. Van Kambi here with the shot. Oh, it's off the bar. He's off the back bar, though, with a deflection, so they do get that corner. Hoffmeyer down that right-hand side with the shot, and it's in. Excellent goal there, number one for the Tigers, Adam Hoffmeyer from Australia. So Tigers get one back. They're only two goals down now. Green team will want to keep goals on these guys. Keep them top of the goal board or leaderboard. Points. As they're both near the top, second and third, just below the white team. Just Hippo's just moving the ball around the outside. Ten seconds left on the shot clock, so Develia takes that shot to get the reset. Off 
Huang just taking it on the left, back to Debelier, back to Huang. Being shut down by Skomarkov. Does get the ball through, but it is a little loose. It's picked up by Miklos Timmer. Now Debelier with the goal. He's really sitting in that top covering role to just dictate the play. Waiting for his time to charge through. Timmer just trying to find something there. Feeds it through to Wong. He gets his shot off. But it is wide, so Tigers with the ball. Hoffmeyer with a long ball all the way down the other end to Skomarikov. She's going quickly. Sorry, that was Wei Chen Sao. Lucky that Hoffmeyer covered for him there. They'll be looking to play the inside ball here. The green have that covered. So just under three minutes left in this half. Hippo's two goals up. Hoffmeyer with the ball. He's left his paddle behind. And he does win the foul on that shot. Cole Hawkins just getting his body too close to that shooting arm. And Hoffmeyer's second shot is blocked out for a corner. Number here feeds it through to Rike. But a loose ball there, which is picked up by Pillars for the Hippos. Does also win the foul and calls a timeout for the Hippos. So they will take their timeout now. For they get one per half, both teams. I have a minute to talk, bring their substitutes on as well, and have a team discussion. Still two goals up, so they're going to be looking to. Hold the ball, keep it safe, take this advantage into that halftime break. Tigers taking this time to maybe have a few discussions on what they can do differently to break down this hippo defence. And the referees have signalled for play to resume, so substitutes make their way off. And the Hippos will start with the ball. And play resumes. Two minutes twenty left in this half. Mark Hong just coming down that left hand side. Sends it across to Pillars. Pillars to Hawkins. Hawkins sends it back out to Pillars. Hippos will try and keep possession for the remainder of this game. Lovely shot there from Huang. And it has got out for a corner. So Hippos do retain the ball. 90 seconds left. Miklos Timar feeding the ball inside. Makes it to Hawkins. His shot is blocked. Ball forwards kindly for him though. So they do have possession still. Huang sends it back to Hawkins.
Sends it to the left to Debelli. Debelli drives wide, draws the, draws the player. Back in the center, center to Tima. Tima tries to get to Pilars. It's loose, but it finds it there eventually. Feeds it into the center to Hawkins. Goal line ball. But the ball had gone out before the pass was made. So Tigers looking for that fast break, sending it to Van Kambi here, but... So Jabelier leaning on the boat there, but it was judged by the referees that Van Kambi here put his paddle near his hand beforehand. So Hippo's winning that foul there. We have 30 seconds left in this half. Hippos will look to hold the ball and make one last attack. And there is a goalie goalkeeper foul. So they're looking for that fast break and it makes it through to Skomorokov who scores the goal. So excellent goal there with seven seconds remaining to number two for the lead the Tigers, Vladislav Skomorokov. Against the runner play of well, as well, so the Tigers will be very happy with that to get one goal back. Oh, long shot there just over the bar. Two seconds left on the clock. So Petter with the long shot, but it doesn't make it. So that is the end of the first half with the Keton Hippos leading three goals to the Leader Tigers two. Alright, 20 seconds left before we get this second half underway. Both teams lining up, ready to go. Looks like we have Van Kalmba here for the Tigers, taking the charge start against Mark Huang for the Hippos. And we're off. Oh, lovely work there by Van Kalmba here to win that charge start. We'll see what the Tigers do in this second half to get back in this game. They are only one goal down after that Clutch goal at the end of the second half from Vladislav. That was a strong uh, first half from the, the Hippos. Like the leader Tigers can uh, get back in the game and uh, turn the score off. Yes, and joining me for the second half is from the Bulls, Stivo Hergele. Vladislav just taking it down the right hand side, feeds it into her Peter. And it was a foul before. Yeah, so can't touch the goalkeeper, so that is going to be a hippo ball. I think it's a five-second foul, or maybe the, the shot clock. Mm. 
because Pilar's just looking to make his way into the centre. Scored three goals already. He's having a great game. Two goals, sorry. Hawkins did get the third. Up the middle. He's inside here. Ooh, oh. Yeah, and that's a few. Oh. So yeah, there was another five. goalkeeper foul in there. Maybe the far break, you know. So Rike does get the ball through to Hoffmeyer. He goes shot. for the long shot. Ooh, oh, just went over it. Very close there from Hoffmeyer. Oh, that's some bad luck. But a good chance. Just off, that, in the goal. just off that sidebar there. And there's a timeout called. I'm not sure what it is. So you think they may be changing a ball? This one's not to the referee's satisfaction there. Yeah, they get another one. And it's a ball for the Tigers. I'm going back. Hoffmeyer. Sturgis Gomorakov back to Hoffmeyer. Charging down the centre now. Ooh. Oh, with a quick pass. Intercepted by Hawkins, but Gomorakov does get the ball. Uh, good luck. That ball would, uh, would have reached uh, Sammy, then uh, it's a good opportunity for a goal. Pass inside. And the shot. Also deflected. Good block from number two, Lucas Pillars for the Hippos against Hepatus shot just then. Ankamba here brings it in. Oh, but yeah. there has been a foul. A boat tackle most likely on the goalkeeper, so there is a turnover. Hippos with the ball now. Tigers making it back into defence. No opportunity for a long shot. The Tigers were quick. Now looking for any good opportunity in the defense of the Tigers. Maybe on the left side with Cole Hawkins. Trying to find that space for the shot, but it's not there. The Peter's got, got his paddle in the way. Back out again. De Bellier just trying to find some space. Gets the better of Van Kambi here. And Rushes the shot and it taps the deflection. Good work from Tim Rike. Tigers aren't happy with that. They don't believe that it took a deflection, but the referees have called the corner. Maybe there's a chance. Abu feeds it into the centre, oh. and lovely goal there from Miklos Timar, number one for the Hippos. Yeah, good pass inside. There was some space there. And turns it around to paddle. So yeah, gets it around Tim Rike's paddle and into that top right hand corner. So Hippos just getting their two goal advantage back. The Tigers passing around. Waiting for a good opportunity. Now Hoffmeyer charging down the right hand side. And takes the shot. the shot, it is blocked out though. So they will win the corner. Great block there from Cole Hawkins. It's a corner for the Tigers. Maybe a pass inside. Samarikov yes. gets it into Rike. It's a battle foul, I think. Yep, so the Tigers will look to set up this shot. Papet is just creating some space for him. Mm, oh. That's a goalkeeper deflection. So great goalkeeper save there from Abu. That bottom left hand corner. Another Tigers corner. with another corner. Van Kambi here just taking the dribble. Sends it to the other side. Skomrakov back out to Hoffmeyer. Maybe an opportunity on the right side. Pass all the way around. Van Kambi. Oh. Okay. 
Yeah, that was a little foul from the hippos. Maybe another shot from inside. Tim Rieke with the free shot. He passes to Apida. Oh, it was blocked by Cole Hawkins, but Tim Rieke still got it. Great work there to keep the ball for his team. Being pressed by two defenders there. So 40 seconds on the shot clock. Opportunity on the left, pass inside, get Tuck. blocked. Van Kambi here just trying to feed that ball through, but Hawkins saw it, deflected it down to Timur. Maybe now the fast break from the Hippos. Yep, Ivan's one on one with the goalkeeper. Oh, and it's and deflected. It and looks like Tigers are going to race down the other end. Rike's already down there, Van Kambi here is with the ball. Takes the long shot. Takes the long Ooh. shot and just off that top bar. So it's a very flat, fast end-to-end -end play just then. That's some good uh, possession from both teams. Um, maybe not that good. But quick playing. We do have a green card there as well. Not sure, not quite sure who to. No, didn't saw it also. But it's the hippos with the possession. I think it is to number 11, Tim Rike. However, Tigers currently only have four players on the field, so I think it may even be a yellow card to, the ti to that number 11, Tim Rike, for the Tigers. So Tigers down to four players now. They have been in this position twice before in previous games. Both of those games they have mm. won. Excellent mm. shot there from Ivan de Bellier. A really hard shot on the bottom bar. A good opportunity for the Hippos to gain their score by three. Yes, yeah, so the Hippos will look to push, but the Tigers have looked very both times that they've been down to four so both of which they have scored and reduced goal deficits that they have had so they may look the same Hippos have to be careful of that oh, oh. great goal great goal from Adam Hoffmeyer excellent goal so once again Tigers go down to four players and still manage to score he shoots it on the top under the top bar no chance for the keeper. Well, great shot. Just one goal down. The Tigers now. Still with four people on the pitch. Just under a minute left on that yellow card. Remembering that CPSL rules are slightly different to the ICF rules. So every yellow card is for the full two minutes. There are no power plays. The hippos aren't in a rush. They are keeping for, keep looking for the good opportunity. They are one goal ahead. So maybe here it is for the shot. A uh, strong shot there from Cole Hawkins, but straight into the body of Hepeta. Back out to Hawkins. He drives down the centre. A bit of a wedge created by his teammates. Goes for the shot, but it is deflected immediately by the first defender. So probably not the best option there, especially because they do have the advantage of numbers. They should be working that ball around. Sends it across to De Bellier. He's going to try and shoot around the body of Hepeta, but thinks otherwise. Sends it back out to Pilars. Pilars sends it across to Fasse. And they are again with five people, the Tigers. The Tigers back up, that yellow card has run out, back up to five. The player advantage has disappeared. Gets the ball inside to Debellier. Looking at that shot, an excellent goal there off that top bar. Great goal to number five, Ivan Debellier from Russia. They 
make any goals with the with one guy more on the pitch but uh, as soon as they got five players the Tigers they made the score Ooh. So a bit of a mistake there from Skorokov that Timar tries to punish him for but puts it out himself so Tigers still retain possession a little bit lucky for the Tigers to keep their possession <laughs> still two goals to make to make it equal with two and a half minutes left so Hochmeyer just playing that top role tries to get the pass through but Develier blocks it he does keep the ball though sends it over to the right to Skomorakov Skomorakov sends it back to that top position Hofmeyer driving down the center fakes the shot trying to slide in feeds it Gets through to foul. Peter he's only got two Ooh. paddles to block but good deflection He fakes a shot two, three times, then takes it. And the Tigers have called a timeout. So two minutes left of this game. Tigers still two goals down, needing to get back into this. So they will have a bit of a discussion. Talk about how they can break this Hippo's defense down. But Hippo's looking very settled in this game. Yeah, very they were really strong, the Hippo's some good goals they they get the go the the holes in the in the tigers defense so we have a few people who have joined us from overseas coming into the CPSL including the vice president of the international canoeing federation Thomas Konietzko. So we will be talking to him in between this game and the next. It's nice to see how many people have come to watch those games. They're really cheering with the with the goals. Yeah, very loud and passionate crowd tonight, which is great. So play just resuming now. Tigers with the ball. They do have to take it from the corner though. Just two minutes to go. Wondering if the Tigers would reach it to make it equal. So Skomarkov gives it to Peter. Peter gives it to Rike. But the shot is blocked. So great play there to feed it through the inside but a clutch block there. Last minute. Oh. It's a foul from Cole Hawkins. And it's a green card. For paddling against the body. <clears throat> the Tigers have to be quick. Just one minute and 47 seconds on the clock or two goals, or even three for, to win the game. Skomarkov looking for an opening. Oh, and it's a goal. No, no, the goal is disallowed. There was a foul Bring after down. that original shot was taken when the ball came down. It was deemed that there was a paddle foul against the Hippo defender. So Hippo's with the ball here, but the referees have called a timeout again. And they're just trying to clarify a few things with players. The Tigers are looking for the man-to-man -man defense. So just a green card here for number two for the Tigers, Skorokov. But it's a yellow card for the one of the Hippos. We are now with four on the pitch. So that's why Adam Hoffmeyer can keep in the goal. With a good push. Good pressure there from Van Kambi here to win that ball back. So again, play just 
pausing briefly. The referees are going to have a, a chat with each other. It's a really good opportunity for the Tigers now with just playing against four people. So just under 90 seconds left in this game. Two goals down. They do seem to have the player advantage though, so we'll see what the Tigers can do with this. The referees had a quick talk. Wondering what it's like. Okay, ball possession for the Tigers. And players resuming. So Rike with the ball in the centre, but Abu gets a lovely block in. He tried to surprise him with a two-hand shot. Looks like it was going under the bar anyway, though, but Tigers again attacking. Oh, lovely goal there from Adam Hoffmeyer, number one for the Tigers. Showing his strength at both ends of the field with some great blocks and goals and some excellent goals to put to against his name as well. So just one goal ahead for the Hippos. So Tigers looking to press hard. They are playing a 41 where they have four players pressing against the four players of the Hippos. Hoffmeyer just covering the goal at the moment. One minute left now, so they may even look to press out all five players. We'll see. A long pass. Number two, Lucas Pillars just playing anchor there, holding the ball up. They are one goal up, so they will hold to look to hold it as long as possible. Pillars just paddling it towards his own goal now to just hold on to that ball for as long as possible. And just 25 seconds. But oh, it's, it's not worked because Pillars has got the ball and he's sent it through to Skorokov who gets the goal. Ooh, so yeah. very risky play there from number two for the Hippos, Lucas Pillars, and it has not paid off with the Tigers winning that ball Rike getting the pass through to Skorokov and punishing them with a goal to make it equal. 34 seconds left and the Tigers are really fighting to win this game. They're pressing so hard now. There's really good pressing from the, all the Tigers. They pushed the Hippos all the way back to their own half and got the ball over there. Oh, the Hippos game. with a scoring opportunity now. Ooh. And it is blocked out for a corner. So Hippos, 13 seconds left on this clock. Do have some attack in them. Just one chance for a shot. So they have a chance to potentially win this still. But the Tigers pressing strongly. And it does look like that the Hippos have called a timeout as well. Just a team timeout to figure out how to play those last 13 seconds. Yeah, so 13 seconds left on this clock. We know that the Tigers are going to press 41 with Adam in goals and the other four pushing hard against the opposition, trying to win that ball back. They will, Neither team will want to settle for a draw here. You can see the crowd is just loving this game. Uh, I'm wondering how the Hippos will play this, this these last seconds. It's going to be a tough one because they'll really only have three players on the field with that fourth player stationary in the corner being covered by a Tiger defender as well so going to be a lot of movement trying to create that opportunity to get that pass off that first pass might have to be a very safe one as well before they can then try and create that space for the shot Tigers are looking for the guy who, who they have to defend all players are with one hippo Yep, so Rike is taking that corner, it's a trying long to pass. block it. It is a long pass over to Timmer. He does get that ball, he looks for the shot. He's got some Maybe space, he sends pass. it through to Abu. Another pass, Gives it. and the shot backwards by Lucas Pilas. But it got blocked and that's it. We're done. And that is full time. It does have one second left on the clock, but the referees have called full time there. So this goal will be a draw. So interesting half for you there. Lovely, go lovely game. Thank you. But in the end, both teams coming out with five goals apiece, and a very hard-earned draw from both teams. Some great play from both players. Some really strong team play as well. 
and we'll be back with you shortly.